Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right. So no facial intro here today um, because I'm just a complete and utter mess. And trust me, you don't want to see me when I'm a complete and utter mess. Today, I went out and uh, picked up all the wood rounds from my supplier. Um, so between driving there, picking up, driving back, it was like a four hour ordeal and it is hot as heck here today. Yes, there's AC in my car, but it's still hot. Um, and then I had to bring all the wood rounds down to the basement all by myself because there was no one around to help me. So 20 trips later up and down the stairs, I finally got everything down here in the studio. Uh, and I'll show you them all after, um, at the end of this video, but I am physically wiped out. So, um, yeah. Um, so for those of you who ordered rounds, um, those of you who pre-ordered your wood rounds, uh, be on the lookout for an email from me. Um, and actually you can actually speed up the process for me by sending me a quick email with your mailing address and your phone number. Um, so then that way I can get your order ready and put all the info uh, into Canada Post and then get your shipping quote ready for you. So if you want to email me your mailing address and that stuff and be proactive instead of me emailing you for it, please do so. And uh, just I'll be in touch. And um, next thing I wanted to mention super quick is uh, my calendars. Don't forget they are now available uh, if you are interested in purchasing a calendar, I showed you guys in the last video, you get uh, 12 beautiful prints of my artwork. And when you're done with the calendar um, and it's over, you can just cut this out and then you have a nice print that you could hang up on the wall if you want or frame it. Um, so if you are interested in a calendar, uh, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Calendars are $50 Canadian plus shipping. Um, they make for a great gift too, a uh, great Christmas present for the upcoming year. So that is a good idea. Um, in my last video, I asked you guys where you want to see Tammy and I go next, at what state in the U.S., um, and so many comments, which is amazing. And I'm sitting there with a paper and pen and I'm literally writing down um, all the states that you guys are mentioning. Could you please mention just the state though? I have a lot of people saying, you know, come to, you know, Massachusetts, which I know is in Boston, right? But I need to know a state. Don't tell me where in the state you want us to come. Just give me a state because for me who lives in Canada, I don't know all these little places and what state they're in. So it's like me telling you, hey, I'm having a workshop in Kitchener and you guys in the US have no idea where Kitchener is, right? So then you got to look it up and figure it out. So if you could just tell me what state you want us to come to California, North Carolina, South Carolina, Utah, Arizona, you know, that kind of stuff. That would be super duper helpful, at least for me. Um, so we have so many votes coming in. It's, there's some really big front runners. Um, I'm not gonna mention which yet, but there are some that are super high on the list. Um, but yeah, just let me, let us know what state you want us to visit. And I would love to visit Europe, really I would, um, but it's just not financially possible um, with the amount that it would cost to fly to Europe, not to mention you guys don't have Floetrol over there, you guys have Oetrol or whatever it is you have there, so supplies would be very hard to get. Um, a, the plane ride alone would be like, depending on where in Europe, eight, nine, ten hour flights, so yeah, that's unfortunately not going to happen. Um, and then I've had people asking if I'm going to do any workshops within Canada, like British Columbia, stuff like that. I will consider it. Um, but for right now, um, it's just easier, obviously, for me to head on over to the U.S. and meet up with Tammy there and um, do our workshops in the U.S. Um, 
Yeah, and I've had people say, oh, come to Jacksonville, Florida, or come to Tampa, Florida. I, I'm just, I, the only place in Florida we will do a workshop is Naples. So uh, we will not visit any other place in Florida other than Naples. We will return to Naples for another workshop, um, but we will not go anywhere else in Florida. So like if I can jump on a plane and change and come into a different country and Tammy jumps onto a plane to come to a completely different state, if you are in Florida, it would be awesome if you could just drive over or I don't know, whatever, but it will always be in Naples. We will not go anywhere else in Florida other than Naples. All right. So just keep that in mind. Um, in my last video, I also asked you guys what colors you want to see for these uh, silver and uh, gold split. Um, silver and gold. Oh, I'm not. I'm so tired. I'm not thinking straight. Silver and gold series. Um, and a lot of people are saying, oh, do, you know, reds with orange and turquoise. No, it has to be one color and it would be a shade of all those, co that color. So like, you know, reds, right? And then I would do different shades of reds, which is what I'm actually doing today. So I did the blue, I've done purple, you know, maybe I'll do turquoise, then orange, but I'm not mixing colors. I'm not doing orange and pink and yellow like it, that's not what I was asking so I'm just asking what color do you want to see next but it has to be one color and different shades of that one color so that's what I meant so I apologize for any confusion but yes that's what I meant and then the last thing I want to say super quick is do you remember a couple of months back when I told you guys I had submitted three pieces of art for that art competition um, that was being held here in London, Ontario. And unfortunately, I did not make it into the art competition. Um, Boo-hoo for me. Yeah, I was really disappointed. But that being said, I actually happened to go to the factory where all the artwork was being displayed. I went there, was it yesterday or the day before? The day before. And I went to go and look at the 100 pieces that were chosen for this art competition. And um, art is in the eye of the beholder, I will say that. And, you know, I looked at a lot of the art and there were some really amazing pieces. And then there were some pieces that made me scratch my head. But again, art is art, okay? This is just my opinion. <laughs> So I will show you some pictures that I took at the end of this video. I will show you pictures of some of the artwork um, that I took pictures of from the factory and you can judge for yourself um, without any rude comments because like I said guys, art is art and art comes in many different forms, shapes, sizes, all that kind of stuff. So what I may not think is art, somebody else thinks is art or vice versa, okay? So no negative feedback on the pictures <laughs> that I'm going to post. Like I said, some are super duper amazing and then some of them made me scratch my head and wonder why <laughs> or how. But anyways, I will put that at the end of the video. All right, so let's get started with today's painting. Oh no, let's not get started with today's painting. I forgot. I am going to show you the dried results of my last painting. Then I'll get started on the next painting. So here it is. This is the um, 18 by 24 inch purple piece that I did. And it is almost dry. It's just a little bit wet here in the center. But I will show you guys. I know this isn't the typical close up, uh, you know, that I show you guys. But I did want to show you guys the dried results. And it did dry super duper pretty and lovely and this will get a top coat of crystal resin and if anyone is interested in this piece you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com all right I need a nap I'm so tired I'm really tired all right my base paint is going to be of course my artist loft flow acrylic white all right mixed with water and flow troll if you want to know how I mix my paints and my ratios for all my paints, 
you can check out video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new and would like to see that video. All right, and the colors I'm going to use, as I mentioned, are reds today. All right, now this color here is my leftover color from my smoky red maroon um, color split that I did weeks or months ago and I had left over. So it's actually Carmine by Amsterdam mixed with black. All right, so that is this leftover color here. Uh, and then I've got Iridescent Silver by Pebeo. Then I have Quinacridone Magenta by Golden of all companies. Golden, I don't use Golden often, but and you'll see here, I did this like, um, you know, swatch of colors that of all my reds and I picked the colors that I liked most that went well together. Um, I was going to do strawberry red by Arteza, but then I would have had too many colors and too many metallic shimmers. So I took it out. Um, but then I have a 24 karat gold by Deco Art, and then topping it off, I've got Carmine by Amsterdam. So those are the colors. I don't even have my hair dryer plugged in. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna use the flower today. Yeah, I think I am. Should I? I don't even know. I haven't thought about it yet. I'm gonna put it here to the side and I'm gonna think about it while I'm flooding my canvas. Um, this is a 16 by 20 inch, so it is a little smaller than all the other ones I've been doing lately. So let me think about it as I'm flooding and I'll be right back. Everybody, my canvas is flooded and um, before I forget um, I this Saturday is my resin workshop so I do have one spot available uh, due to a cancellation so if anyone is interested in joining me here in my home studio in London Ontario for a resin workshop you can email me for details all right, this is gonna suck because I don't have this in a squeeze bottle and I don't like that because I have a feeling I'm going to uh, put too much of it and then I'm gonna be very upset. So I'm just, I have little lowly Veffy bottles, um, spare bottles kicking around. So you know what? I am going to pour this, yes. Lovely color in my Loli Veffy bottle and ta-da, just like that, I now have a squeeze bottle. All right, that's what I'm going to do. I was just thinking, how on earth am I going to pour this on the canvas without putting too much? And I don't want that disaster. So luckily, I've got spare Loli Veffy bottles. If you are interested in purchasing Loli Veffy bottles... Don't forget, you can save 10% off using code CANELA10 for all your lowly Veffy needs. Oh, look at that. Perfect. All right. So now, let me start with my composition. Yeah, see? This is so much better because I would have been in big trouble otherwise. All right. And then let's go that way. You see how much easier that is? Like, it's, it's ridiculous. Like, if I had done that trying to pour that out of that cup, I guarantee you, I would have made a colossal mess. All right, now silver, which seems to be exploding on me. Alrighty. So after this, I have to continue prepping for my resin class. I'm almost done, but yeah, there's so much to do. And don't forget, I'm leaving in like three weeks for our family trip to St. Pete's, Florida. So I'll be gone again for like, you know, almost two weeks. So I've got a lot going on. Lots going on. All right, my gold. 
and remembering not to put too much because it does like to take over. So a little bit goes a long way with the gold. And last but not least, the carmine red. So I'm hoping this doesn't turn pinky on me. We're gonna find out though, aren't we? So I think I'm going to use my flower hair dryer for this one. Um, I mentioned it in my last video and then I had a few people say, what's a flower? What's a flower? And so this is a flower hair dryer. Um, you can see it says flower on it. That's what it's called. Um, and it is by Drew Barrymore, the actress. It's her brand and you can find it at Walmart in the US. If you're in Canada, good luck finding it um, because I don't know where you get them here, if you can even get them. Uh, let me pop my bubbles. All right, uh, I may regret using the flower. I don't know, I love using my other one, but I use the flower for like 80 pours. I don't know what to do. Maybe I won't use the flower. Maybe I'll just stick to my hair dryer. All right, well, let's just do this. I'm, I'm so tired, I don't know what I wanna do. All right, let's just use this. All right, let's get started. All right, my observations. One, I should have used the flower hair dryer. Two, I shouldn't have used magenta. Um, no, I should not have because it's like really pinky to me and it is not what I was going for. Um, I love the colors. I love everything about it, but I was going for red and I stupidly used the magenta and I probably shouldn't have. Um, so that being said, it is what it is. It's still pretty though. I do, I love the colors, but when you have something in mind and you know, my thought was to do a super red painting. Um, it's definitely not a super red painting. Um, it's definitely pinky red. There's like a lot of red in here but like this is all pink and I'm not happy with that. Oh, and I just put my palm in a puddle of white paint. So I'm going, yeah, I should have used the flower hair dryer because I had an issue here. So I'm going to fix it and try and make it into the composition that I like. Let's see. All right, so that looks better at least. Yeah, this magenta, like, really took over and again it's golden which is super highly rich and pigmented which is probably another reason why so much of it is showing through all 
Um, let's see. I'm hoping, again, putting my hands in the puddles of paint here. I'm hoping that when this dries, um, it dries a lot darker and a lot of this pink doesn't show too much pink. I don't even know if that's possible. However, the more I talk, the more I see all of these cells forming here, which is super cool. So I'm going to play with this part here too, actually. Ooh, that looks pretty. All right, so I'm done fidgeting. Yes, I'm done fidgeting. So I am going to uh, fix my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, everybody. Now I've already gone ahead um, and scraped my drips. I did. I'm just trying to finish this up. So I did scrape the drips. Don't forget, come back 10 minutes later, do it again. And then a third time. So I'm going to show you now the close-up. I love this piece. I do. It's just, it, actually, you know what? It's really rich and like pinky red. Is that even a word? No, I just made it up because I like to make things up. Um, but it's super rich in color. And I'm going to be super curious to see how this dries because it's going to dry darker. And I'm hoping that red shows through a lot more. I do love the piece though. Was it what I was going for? No. Do I love the outcome? Yeah, I do. Um, so I'm at least happy with that. But uh, let's check out the shimmer though. All right, so I've got the flash on. And obviously there, <laughs> there's the gold. Lot, there's the silver. So lots of silver and gold in here. And those were the only two metallics in this whole piece. So you can definitely see there's the gold. And then here's the silver and the gold. So it's very dominant. And look at that streak of silver and gold. So this is super pretty. Oh, my camera's changing colors. I love it. It's going to shine. It's going to shimmer. Most definitely. I just curious. I'm just curious to see how dark this is going to dry. But I do love the shimmer. It's very, very nice. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this piece in the comments below. If you are interested in this piece, as I mentioned, it is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. If you are interested in purchasing it, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. If you are new watching, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Click that notification bell. That way you are notified every time I post a new video to YouTube. All the information that you need to know is listed in the description below. Colors I use, the names, the brands, discounts to a lot of companies that I use. Crystal Resin, Loli Vefi, Arteza, all kinds of discounts listed in the description below if you'd like to buy any products and save some money. Um, so I'll show you, there's my boards prepping for my resin class this weekend. So that is what I'm working on. And then <laughs> this, once I focus, there we go. Um, this is what I was working on today. That is a lot of rounds. I think there's, uh, over 300 of those. There are I think 1,300 of the four inch rounds. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. So this is what I was working on today. Drove four hours of my day uh, back and forth, uh, to and from, not back and forth, to and from. Um, so yeah, um, I might have some extras. So if you are interested, there might be a few extras kicking around when I'm done. I will let you guys know, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.